What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I just did a one hour, I think it was one hour, just over one hour live video. So I'm in the mood to do some more. Um, we're gonna get back to the affiliate marketing stuff probably next week, but I wanna talk about something that, um, so if you guys don't know, I released a training last week. Uh, it's closed now. And inside that training, what I did is I actually, re I have a, 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 a score thing where I can review people's stores and ads and stuff like that and I give them advice and they get a badge. I've probably reviewed over 150 stores in the last week. There's one thing I noticed, guys, uh, out of everything that a lot of people need to do or change, and that is branding. Um, you see in this video right now, there's a brand behind me. That's branding. That is one of my brands. And we're going to talk about these two bottles in particular. Okay. Now, this water, I buy probably one a day or one every couple of days. This water cost me around about $4, depending on where I purchase it. This water costs more than a liter of petrol. Now, this water here is about 80 cents. I know it's a different size, but it's around about 80 cents for the size that's like this. So water literally tastes the same. There's a slight difference between brands depending on where they get it from. But why do I buy the most expensive one every single time? Because it's the brand that I like. And that is it. That is the only reason why I buy that particular water. Now, I don't mind drinking this water. I'll drink it. Um, I'll drink any water. But when I go into a shop and I see my Kiwi Blue, that's what I buy. Because that's what I like. Um, and that, 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 my friends, branding can make you a ton of money. So that's what we're going to be talking about right now. And this is just a good example because I'm stupid. I should be buying the cheap stuff. I'm, I'm wasting money spending up to $4 a liter, $4.50 at gas stations on this. I'm an idiot, but I do it because I like this water. It tastes good um, and it probably tastes the same as the rest, but this is the one I go to. So... I've been looking at all of these stores and they're missing one critical thing, proper branding, guys. When you have a brand, there's a few things you can do when you, you know, you're not going to dominate your entire niche because you're going to have other brands in there and stuff. But if you brand yourself better, you're going to make more money because people are going to come back to you in particular because of your brand. When, friend, when your friends ask you, ask them where they got that product from, they're going to mention your brand. Um, and that's really the fact that that's really it. If you're not branding yourself in one way or another, you're leaving money on the table. Now, when I was looking through all of these websites, one stood out in particular, this one site, it was very, very clean, had a very nice logo. I said to him, your site's pretty good. And on all of his pictures, he had his logo. So his logo was a little picture with the word. On his pictures, his product pictures, and I, I presume he does it on his Facebook ads, he had the um, symbol on the corner of all of his product, on his product pictures. That is branding. He is branding himself. Um, what I do with my email marketing campaigns is I put my brand logo in the email campaigns at the top of the emails that I send. Branding, branding, branding. You need to have your brand everywhere in your niche, okay? Um, and that's really it. Like, you know, what, what are some of the ways you can brand? Well, a nice, clean, good logo. You can put those logos on your images on Facebook in the, um, in the corner. I just recently did a retargeting campaign for e-com elites, and I had my um, branding all over that stuff and everyone was loving it. They're like, oh, I've seen the thing. I've seen the Econ Elites logo on the picture and stuff. You want to get people talking about your brand. And that's that's exactly what this video is about. Like, if you're not branding yourself, you're just like these guys. No one buys this stuff. That's why it, it, it's cheap. No one buys it. Um, this, this, this doesn't even have a name, Spring Water. Its name is Spring Water. That's what it is. They don't even have a name. Um, this is non-branded. I don't. It probably has a brand, but it's not on there. That's what a lot of these stores are that I'm seeing. They are rough, no brand, nothing. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to brand yourself before this video is over. Number one, a good, clear logo. 
like I said. Number two, in your email campaigns, make sure you have your logo inside the email somewhere, preferably at the top in the middle. Number three, try and put a part of your logo or your entire logo on your images in the corner. Watermark them for two reasons, so no one steals your stuff, and second, it's branding. It's awareness you're putting your brand out there. Um, number four, so when I tell people to create um, Shopify stores, we usually do a general store first. Um, it's hard to brand the general store. But when you build out into your niche stores, make sure your Facebook page has your brand name in it. Okay, that's very important because when people see that brand name on Facebook, they're going to instantly think of your store. Okay, makes sense. Um, and number five is just generally have a good, clean store with a very big brand presence. Okay, and you know, when you do your videos, have your brand in the watermark. Like, that's really it, guys. That's how you brand yourself. You want to get yourself out there. You want to capture the people that come back and purchase your stuff. And one good thing about being branded is you can charge a premium for your products. You can charge more for your products because people trust you now. You're branded. You're in their mind. This here and this here is exactly the same product. Probably, ta let's, let's taste them. Probably taste the same. All right. That's a little bit diff li little bit different, not much. Um, no, they literally taste the same. These taste the same. Okay. One is about 80 cents. This one is up to $4, guys. That's the difference. That's why there's a lot of stores out there absolutely dominating right now, making huge return on investment, because they can charge a premium for their products. You've got the little guys with the crappy stores charging 20 bucks for a product. Big boss dog over here can come in, sell that exact same product for 50 bucks and make a good profit. That is why I say start a general store first and then when you have a particular product, build that product out into a niche store, okay? Then start your branding hardcore. That's when you want to start your branding. You have a specific niche store. You're now in a specific niche. You're going to have your specific niche branding, okay? That is very, very important, guys. This is a lesson about branding. We'll be back with the affiliate marketing soon. Just want to quickly get this out there because I've been um, doing a lot of site reviews lately. And one of the common things I saw was lack of branding. Now, given the fact that a lot of them were general stores, I took that out of consideration. I didn't consider the general stores in my analysis, okay, of branding. We'll call it an analysis. I only focused on the niche stores because we have to give the general stores a little bit of leeway because they're not really at the branding stage yet, okay? Now, you can brand your general store, absolutely, but you don't need to go to the extent of, you know, a niche store should be doing. Okay, guys, so that's it. Both taste the same. One's a hell of a lot cheaper than this one, but I prefer to buy this one pretty much every single day when I go out. Not every single day. And some people might say water's free from your tap. I don't like the taste of the water from the tap, so I buy spring water. But they both taste the same. I can get both of these at the same store, probably literally beside each other. One is a hell of a lot cheaper. One is a lot more expensive. If you become this person in your particular niche, you will make a lot more money, okay? You want to be the one where people come back to you and purchase your products over and over again. And that's why I'm so heavy on retargeting and why I'm so heavy on email marketing with your Shopify e-commerce stores. So that's pretty much the best way I could describe branding. There's no other way. Um, this is this, this one doesn't even have a brand name. It's called Spring. It's called what is it? It's called J Springwater. So I suppose that's their brand, J Springwater. Um, never heard of it. It's a no, no. It's not a very good brand. This one here, a very popular brand in New Zealand, one of the main waters. That's why they can charge a lot. That's why they can charge more than a liter of petrol. Now, granted, you can get this cheaper at the supermarket. Okay, it is a, a little bit cheaper. Um, and so is this. But point is, side by side in any store, supermarket, gas station, convenience store, these are both extremely different prices for a reason. Branding. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.